الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبت في الله السلام عليكم رحمة الله وبركاته أسأل الله كريم رب العرش العظيم أن يتولنا في الدنيا والآخرة In this video, I want to talk about uh, five steps or five ways to combat loneliness What can we do as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So the first thing I want to mention is seeking Islamic knowledge Strive your best to learn more about your religion. Learn more about Tawheed, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Learn more how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by learning the jurisprudence, you know, on how to wash yourself for prayer, how to um, how to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and learning about things that will soften your heart, which is known as raqa'iq, those things that will soften your heart and make you uh, draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and teach you humility and teach you how to be humble before your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and be, by being humble before your Lord, this will help you to interact with other people better. So that's one of the first thing is doing talib al-ilm, seeking sound, authentic Islamic knowledge. Secondly, ya is reaching out, trying to make righteous connections because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a person is on the religion of his companion. So meaning, if you have good companions around you who encourage you to do good deeds, encourage you to be righteous, encourage you to, to be doing what is obedient to Allah and to follow the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, then you're on khair, you're on goodness. So reaching out and trying to connect. Now, one of the reasons you're lonely is because maybe you don't find people like that in your local area or local community, or maybe you have no community. So what do you do then? For example, a lot of times sisters are not connected to the masjid, or they might revert to Islam and they're far from uh, a Muslim community and they don't know where to begin. Well, if you can't find local companions, then this is the positive of the internet and the positive of social media is try to connect in groups of Ahl Sunnah, of Ahl Sunnah, that are righteous groups that call you to do good, teach you more about your religion, and make righteous, positive connections. Also, I say don't throw out your common sense because sometimes you will have people, they claim certain things and they claim to be uh, good, righteous people, but you'll see that their actions contradict that. So just because they claim something, as you knew before, don't throw out your total intellectual capacity and to evaluate the situation. Make sure you're around truly good people who remind you of good things and good deeds. Thirdly, now this could also relate to what we talked about in the beginning of seeking knowledge, but also just connecting yourself with the Quran in general. Connecting yourself with the Quran, reading the Quran a lot, seeking help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that means also through your reciting the Quran, trying to reflect on its meaning. Um, also, in that you make uh, remembrance of Allah, meaning you make dhikr, you, you uh, recite the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you pray to him and supplicate in accordance to what you find from authentic Islamic sources, like Husn al-Muslim is an excellent book called The Fortress of the Muslim. Now this gives you a lot of supplications that the Prophet sallallahu either did or advised us to do and supplications that come from the Quran, and these things will help you to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they will help you to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that will make you want to have Allah azza wa jal uh, as your companion, so to speak, because he's your protector, he's your Lord, he's the only one worthy of worship, and that can help fulfill voids that you might find with loneliness. Fourthly, you can also try to be active, meaning that you're doing some sort of activity that can remove some of the loneliness. Sometimes it could be an, an activity where you're active, actively engaging with others. It could be something outside of your home. It could be something online. And also just exercising, taking care of your physical well-being, eating well, sleeping well, and exercising. You know, doing things that busy you. Exercise is an excellent way to, you know, kind of stimulate your mental, obviously your physical, and even your spiritual, because if you're a strong as a, a strong in body, this also can have a relationship 
in your activity and how strong you are in your worship. You know, there's a relationship there. But of course, first and foremost is taking care of the heart. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ said, Ala wa hiya qalb. He said, verily it's the heart. So he mentioned, he said, in the fi jizid mudga, in the, uh, verily in the body is a morsel of flesh. If it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. If it's sick, the whole body is sick. Verily it's the heart. So it lets us know that first, as believers, we want to take care of our faith. We want to take care of our heart. We want to do righteous and good deeds and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we mentioned. Lastly, a habatifillah, one of the uh, things that can help combat loneliness is also, of course, seeking help. And you can begin by seeking help in your local community. Sin seek it uh, maybe through the imam. If, he, if you have a situation where you're really feeling lonely and you don't seem to be finding the your needs being met in the community, maybe you're new to the community, maybe the community, bottom line is, doesn't speak your language and there's not a great tie there and relationship there. So sometimes if you don't find that people are have uh, reaching out to you, which they should, then you may bring attention to the imam. If the imam can do nothing for you, then of course it's trying to find like-minded maybe groups on, uh, as we said, in social media and so forth. If it becomes something very severe and serious, that's when you, you pay, possibly may need to go and seek professional help if it's a situation where you're in major depression or you're having some great difficulty uh, in that regard. So there are steps and stages that we can take in order to uh, deal with loneliness. And probably lastly, I might say, and this is also can be very important because obviously all of us want life partners and we need companionship. We need good friends, hopefully, and we definitely need a righteous uh, companion, meaning like a spouse. So if, for example, you don't find uh, many of those other uh, things working out for you, you can also, depending on your, probably your age and your status and so forth like this, you can also look to get married because marriage uh, if you find a good righteous spouse for you, if you're a woman finding a good righteous husband that is pleasing to your eye and everything. And if you're a man finding a good righteous wife, who's pleasing to your eye and to your heart, hopefully, and stimulating for companionship, you know, mentally and, and everything, then this also is one of the greatest fulfillments in the dunya. You know, this can help you in practicing your religion to have a good righteous spouse who is there when everyone else goes home and who is with you there to comfort you and strengthen you in your religion and in your worldly happiness. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, help us all to remove loneliness and, and for us all to find righteous companions and people who are righteous to be around us, who help to strengthen us and remind us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and come closer to Allah azza wa jal. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.